talk about the evolution of the party pants. <laughs> so when, <laughs> I got one good question per show, and this, this is it. This is it. Okay, so maxed with, out of one. Yeah, I got hey, it. At this age, I'm good to get the one. Yeah. So what was the idea for the party pants, and when did they make their, its debut? So actually, we're having a, a, a Pawnee Pants bobblehead giveaway later on this summer. So we were just recounting that because I guess Caroline Phipps, our promotional director, put it on uh, the, the giveaway box that's being manufactured right now. But we think it was back 2011, 2012. Um, I, I was walking through the office and it was the middle of the summer and people were kind of burned out, right? People were yeah. kind of stagnant. Sure. People were kind of sick. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what can I do to, to, to get these people you know, something different, right? And so uh, John Daly has this company I know uh, John. Uh, called uh, Loudmouth, Loudmouth, uh, <laughs> Loudmouth Golf. And I ordered some pants. And um, ironically now, JD and I have become very good friends. There's pictures, there's pictures of us here uh, together on, on uh, the, the walls right. of Parney's Pub. And uh, I wore them mm -hmm. at a game and people loved them. Fans loved them. Our staff loved them. The players loved them. Everybody loved them. The next night, I wore regular pants, and a fan came up to me and said, "What happened? I was here last night. Why aren't you trying as hard tonight as oh. you were last night?" Fighting words. And I went, "You yeah, got it. Yeah, you got it." And, yeah. and I went, "Okay, this might be something." So then, right. then it went to getting more pants and wearing them just for games. Then that went to putting them on in the morning on game days. And then that went to wearing them if we have a game, if we don't have a game. And that went to anytime I leave the house, basically, I have to have these pants on because if somebody sees me without the pants, they just, they're disappointed. And it's, and it's, it's fun. It's uplifting. People, people enjoy it. I don't care because uh, if people think I'm weird, if people think I'm silly, because other people get enjoyment out of it. And that's the key. Yes. Uh, I don't care what people think about me. I care the fact that they think it's fun and they get, it livens up the room and makes, it just makes everything better. So I wear them all the time. But a problem comes if I have to go, which happened recently, I have to go to a funeral or something. Mm. Well, probably not appropriate at a funeral, right? But that's so, that's how you're known. So, so so I went to Detroit for my friend's father's funeral, and I had I told him like, hey, I got to stop at a store in Detroit because I don't have any regular. I got to so. And he goes, well, I'll tell you where to go. But when you come to the funeral home, I want you to wear the party pants nice. because that'll really, yes. that'll, that'll make people smile. We need to smile right now. So I think that's a good story about how they just, they've transcended all kinds of things. Uh, and it's definitely part of not only the squirrels brand, but my own personal brand. And it's one of the things that, you know, you know now when you come to the diamond, you're going to see some goofy What's looking pants. One of the things about you guys, as you say, you're not in the baseball business. We're in, a, we're in a memory.